All right, this kayak design depends on this piece of wood, which is 10 inches wide and eight feet long, 10 noodle units wide, eight feet long, to twist about 60 degrees. I think it can do it. Yeah, I think I just have to try it, see if it'll, see if it'll do it. This one's a little curved, that one's straight. I think this one's a little better, partly because it'll work with the plywood more easily. It'll be easier to bend around a curve than, yeah. All right. Okay, I know what the measurement in was here. This was a foot and a half in. Okay, I can measure that easily. I probably don't want like a real, I don't want a sharp point at the end. So I'll come in just a little bit, I don't know. Five eighths of an inch, yeah, from the end, okay. And then, going back here, foot and a half is 18 noodle units, but let's go with 17. Let's pull this in a little bit. Right, is that what I wanna do? I think that's what I wanna do. All right, we put a straight line here. I should be able to figure out the curve I want to do from that, hopefully. All right. Just want to curve a little bit. Okay. I do have a weird technique for making curves that are not really well defined and I don't want to do math. Okay, let's cut this in half. Say I want it to come out about, about one inch, one noodle unit. So that's a, a low resolution curve here. And now let's increase the resolution by going like this. Halfway between this and that. Okay. And then I want to mark a spot halfway between those. That's my new spot there. This is a little higher resolution curve. I'm just gonna keep bisecting it like this. I think it's something I feel like I can cut reasonably. All right, now let's go here, draw the straight. All right, if I ignore all my pencil marks, it uh, looks pretty good. Again, though, I got one chance to get this right, so I better not make a mistake. All right, so I was able to get that with one shot with the circular saw. You can do a bit of a curve. Okay, right here, though, I don't really want to point. So, let's think about that how much I want to round that out. Same curve on the other one, obviously. And I've got the, the sides that I want on the outside facing each other. Is the angle back there? I have to decide. Okay, this is the part where someone sits, and I have to decide at what angle these will attach to each other 
right in the middle of the kayak. Perfectly flat across would be the most stable kayak. However, I don't really want it to go straight across. It'll be definitely stronger if it has a bit of a angle. Uh, so I do want to put a bit of an angle. Not very much though, because the more angle it has, the more unstable the kayak becomes. But a little bit should be fine. I think I want it to be somewhere in that range. This is 10 degrees up on each side. This is like 7 degrees up on each side. Okay, I'm going to lean towards stability and go with 7 degrees. 7 degrees up here, 7 degrees up there. Alright, that's about 7.5 degrees. It also happens to be 1.5 noodle units up on each side. And I made this 19 imperial noodle units across, even though that's 20, because I'm not sure how I want to overlap when I get to there. If I want to go to the inside or the outside. So I made this a little thinner than it needs to be. Well, I don't know. It might be right. Anyway, I'm going with the smaller of the two options for this. All right, I think I cut those pretty good. And you know what I could do to make sure that I keep the exact same angle? I can keep these pieces, screw them onto the bottom of a flat piece that'll go on the other half of the kayak. Because I don't think, I don't think this is thick enough to have it attached to both ends of the kayak. And if I have one of these on each end of the kayak, then I can screw these together to connect it right. I am counting on needing an amazing amount of wood filler. Which is fine, because I have a lumber mill, so I have an amazing amount of sawdust. And then you know, mix that with glue. And then sand. Okay, that looks great. <laughs> now the trick is... Don't think I can steam it because the plywood would come apart. Yeah, I, I guess it's just like, try it and see how it goes. Okay. Looks okay so far. <laughs> I wanna put more of these along. I'm estimating 50-50 chances will work and be just fine. Though I'm com contemplating cutting this sheet right down there and cutting this sheet right down there. Should make them easier to twist. And I'll have to, you know, do something to the seam here where it'll it'll be slightly more complicated, but it, it should twist more easily. Hmm, it does seem to be getting easier to do. Maybe the wood is starting to... get used to the shape. So, if I can get this to work, it makes such a good shape. And then that's getting close. This is the hardest step in the making of this whole thing. 
And there are plenty of other spots I could screw up. But this is this is the, the easiest part to screw up. I'll put a few extra clamps. That might help. Man, look at that shape down there. Oh, that is good looking stuff. might actually make it. Is that exploding? God, just a little bit more. Man, look at that shape. That is excellent. Oh, that's gonna be beautiful if this doesn't break. Yeah. Oh, am I getting on on camera because it's not gonna survive? <laughs> oh, I hope it does. And from my eyeballs, it actually looks like it's bending pretty much symmetrically, which is amazing. Jeez, I think I'm gonna get it. Boom! <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's popping right off the end. There we go, I got it. Holy crap, that is, oh my god, that is beautiful. This is going to be the best kayak in the universe. Well, I'm a little bit biased here, so give me a break. This is going to be pretty sweet. Oh, god, look at that. Oh, man, I'm so happy right now. Oh, yes. I really hope this doesn't crack. It looks like it curved symmetrically. Oh man, that looks beautiful. Oh, so good. Oh, look at that. Man, that is some nice looking lines. Oh, that's so good. Man, I wish I knew, like, the status of this wood right now. Like, is it right on the verge of cracking, or is it, like, totally fine? Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to be super careful with that other way. Oh, that looks great. This is why experience is so valuable. Like if I had experience, like more experience with plywood, I would know if what I've done here is going to be all right or if it's like about to break. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't, I've never done something similar to this before. And sort of the, one of the useful things to do right now would be to push it until it breaks to find out when the breaking point is. But I don't want to do that in this particular instance because because I don't have any plywood to spare. So I'm just going to have to hope that I'm within acceptable tolerances for this sheet of plywood and just, just keep going. But it looks amazing. Oh, that is so good. That is, man, that is really symmetrical too, isn't it? 